Ah, black country Christmas. And a tweet went out from Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs that all the world should be taxed and all went to be taxed, each to his own city, which meant there had to be a lot of cities. It was a quiet night in the little town of Bethlehem, twinned with the big town of Wellington, and Mary and Joseph settled down with their new baby. Mary, why do you and me have to be in the stable? Ain't it a health and safety nightmare? Can you imagine the fire risk with all this straw about? The innkeeper blokes swears they have a play area and serve happy meals and so are child friendly. I know Joseph, but when I went in the inn and saw the innkeeper, he said we could not be in the inn but had to be out as there was no room in the inn. Well, I don't think much of this stable. There ain't any Wi-Fi and the crib ain't got no USB charging points. Well, it's all there is, so we'll have to make do. Mary, what do you want for Christmas? Well, I was hoping for five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens and two turtle doves, but I'll settle for a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, I got you a pair of trees and two turtles. What would that do? That's fine, said Mary, somewhat disappointedly, as she'd rather hope for that partridge for Christmas dinner. Why are more these yampy sheep in here? The shepherds are all out. They wash their socks by night, usually seated on the ground. What? Why do they do that in the morning like all your aunties? Oh, they're busy watching the three ships come sailing in. Oh, blimey. Well, I think the sheep should be outside anyhow. And Joseph shooed the sheep out, as there was no room in the stable. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Even though the stable was open-sided for some reason, and it didn't have a door. I don't half wonder who's there at this time, said Joseph. And Joseph answered the door that the stable doesn't have. Wise guys trying to disturb we in the middle of the night. Who am ya? We three kings of Orient are. Really? Bearing gifts, we traverse afar. Well, how did you find us? Well, the sat nav was broken, but we followed the star up there. Yo, follow the star. They yo learn nothing in your physics lesson. A star can't move across the fixed background of other stars. Now it could be Ailey's Comet. I don't think it's been discovered yet. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Joseph. We bring gifts for the baby king. Oh, that's funny, because we are going to call him Elvis, because we changed our minds at the last minute. Which gifts have you bought? Melchior. I bring the latest iPhone. Packed full of functionality. Casper. An Xbox with FIFA World Cup already loaded. Balthazar. Ah, sorry the Amazon delivery hasn't arrived yet. But it's coming soon. And they'll text me to say when it is on its way. Oh, blimey, well off be disappointed. Because he got gold, frankincense and myrrh on his Christmas list. Well, we better be going as it is beginning to snow. Snow on snow. Snow on snow. ta cocker. Yo, now I love you, Mary, and the babby. But I don't get what happened. How did you become pregnant? Because... Yao and I never. Well, Joseph, some things they don't have to explain. Christmas is a time for dreams and wonder. Time with loved ones and family. That's what really matters. Now, pass my phone. I need to finish my TripAdvisor review as the stable is not going to get a five-star of Bethlehem rating. That's for sure. Well, at least we in together. Give or take a few sheep, cows and donkeys. Have a Boston Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas.
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas and a fantastic new year. Von mir auch frohe Weihnachten und ein glückliches neues Jahr 2019. Von uns allen natürlich auch von Baby Barry, der heute sein Weihnachtsoutfit trägt. Happy Christmas! Frohe Weihnachten!